three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. About 55 years ago, on July 21st at 2.56, mankind achieved one of its greatest desires. Neil Armstrong, with his step onto the lunar surface, uttered those famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Achieving what all humans until that day had only dreamt of seeing. Following the Apollo 11 mission, which was the first manned mission to the moon, six more manned missions were launched to the moon, but only five were successful. Before we begin, I'd like to note that we are a relatively new channel, striving to bring you educational and entertaining popular science videos to the best of our ability. Your support through subscribing and liking the video, if you find it useful, is a great motivation for us. Enjoy the video. After the last manned mission to the moon, Apollo 17, the United States emerged as the clear winner of the space race that began during the Cold War. The first manned landing on the moon became a significant source of national pride and provided the USA with a significant strategic advantage during the Cold War. However, following this success, interest in space exploration among the public and politicians waned. Society wanted the government to focus more on domestic issues and social programs. After this achievement, the US government re-evaluated the cost of space exploration programs and decided to redirect funds to other national priorities. The cessation of manned explorations did not mean the end of space missions, of course. After the Apollo program, NASA shifted its focus to the Space Shuttle program, running from 1981 to 2011. This program facilitated regular flights to low Earth orbit. Space shuttles were employed for crew and cargo transportation, construction of the International Space Station, and significant missions, such as deploying the Hubble Space Telescope. The International Space Station served as a laboratory for continuous human presence in space, providing scientists with the opportunity to conduct scientific research in microgravity. Long-duration missions on the ISS offered valuable insights into how the human body responds to extended stays in space. These insights were critical for planning future space explorations. During the period when manned flights were on hold, NASA and other space agencies sent robotic vehicles to Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and other celestial bodies. These missions significantly contributed to our understanding of the deeper reaches of space. Private spaceflight companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin began collaborating with NASA to transport cargo and crew to orbit. This marked a significant step in the development of commercial spaceflight. After a long break, NASA's Artemis program was officially announced on December 11, 2017, following the signing of Space Policy Directive 1 by the President of the United States. This directive reaffirmed the United States' intention to return to the Moon and send human missions to Mars in the long term. The Artemis program is designed to enable sustainable human exploration of the Moon and to advance toward the goal of sending humans to Mars. The primary goal of the program is to land a woman and a person of color on the moon by 2025, expand lunar exploration, conduct scientific research, and test the technologies and life support systems necessary for long-term space exploration. The Artemis missions also aim to establish infrastructure to support a long-term human presence on the lunar surface and in orbit. All the knowledge gained here will lead to the next significant step, sending the first astronauts to Mars the first of the three-phase Artemis program, Artemis-1, was an uncrewed flight test of the Space Launch System and the Orion spacecraft around the Moon. Artemis-2 will be the first crewed flight test of the Space Launch System and the Orion spacecraft around the Moon. And Artemis-3 will send the first humans to explore the region near the lunar south pole. Five years after the announcement of the Artemis program, on November 16, 2022, NASA successfully conducted an uncrewed test flight as part of the Artemis 1 mission, thanks to the flawless operation of over 2 million parts that make up the SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft. This mission involved sending the Orion spacecraft to the moon and back to Earth, and was the first flight conducted under the Artemis program. Artemis 1 entered lunar orbit and then returned to Earth, testing critical systems for future crewed Artemis missions. NASA's Artemis 2 mission will be the first crewed flight under the Artemis program taking four astronauts on a 10-day journey around the moon. 
This historic mission represents an important step by NASA towards establishing a long-term presence on the Moon for science and exploration. Artemis II will fundamentally test the deep space exploration capabilities of humanity, conducting the first test of the SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft with astronauts. This mission will lay the foundation for future Artemis missions and pave the way for manned landings on the Moon's South Pole. According to NASA's website, this mission will not take place before September 2025. NASA's Artemis III mission marks a pivotal moment in human history. As the third phase of the Artemis program, this mission will land humans on the Moon's South Pole for the first time ever. Artemis III represents a significant step towards establishing a long-term presence on the Moon for science and exploration. The mission aims to conduct scientific research in previously unexplored regions of the Moon and to push the boundaries of human space exploration. Astronauts will search for water and other vital resources on the lunar surface, while also testing technologies and life support systems necessary for future manned missions to Mars. Artemis III will open the doors to sustainable human exploration of the Moon, shining a light on the future of humanity in space. This mission, which is expected to last 30 days, is not expected to take place before September 2026. But how important are these tasks for the average person? The Apollo missions to the Moon spurred numerous technological advancements that have since become integral to daily life. These innovations include improved telecommunications, which benefited from the development of satellite technology, advancements in computing and miniaturization, leading to more powerful and compact computers, materials technology such as fire-resistant fabrics used in firefighter gear and home insulation, and health-related technologies, including the digital thermometer and advancements in kidney dialysis. These technological leaps, born out of the necessity to solve complex problems in space exploration, have found widespread application, significantly impacting society and shaping our modern world. The missions to be carried out under the Artemis program will pave the way for new technological leaps that will have a direct impact on people's daily lives, just like the previous lunar missions. Moreover, by attracting the interest of other nations, this program will spark a new space race and inspire future generations by enabling governments to allocate more budget to space programs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.